Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of OBJS Biology and in this video I am going to discuss about the vaccine of COVID-19 disease and one of the vaccine is the Covaxin. So if you want to know what is the Covaxin and how does it work and what are the side effects of this Covaxin and how does it help to fight against the COVID-19 disease? Watch the video till the end. This Covaxin is made in India. And this vaccine is made by Varad Biotech of India which is situated at Hyderabad. Varad Biotech has developed this vaccine in collaboration with the Indian Council of Medical Research or ICMR. First of all, we have to know what is vaccination. In our body, we have our immune system which protects against any pathogen when it enters into our body. This pathogen can be any virus, bacteria or can be any fungus. Now, when a pathogen enters into our body, our immune system is activated and it generates antibody against the antigen of the pathogen. Then the antibody binds to the antigen of the pathogen and destroys the pathogen. A specific antibody is produced for a specific antigen. This is the general immune system of our body. But in case of vaccination, we have to introduce the same virus or the same pathogen to our body to influence our immune system or to teach our immune system to produce antibody for that antigen. So for COVID-19 vaccination, we have to introduce the same virus that is the SARS-CoV-2 into our body. So there is a big question. If we introduce the same virus into our body, will not they affect us? So the answer is here. No, they will not affect us because the viruses are inactivated before introducing into our body at the time of vaccination. Means the viruses are killed so that they are not able to cause any disease but they are able to show their immunogenic properties to our immune system. This is how our immune system can identify the components of the virus or the pathogen and start producing the antibodies against it. Now these antibodies will help us when the virus will enter into our body and it will destroy the virus. This is the main motto of vaccination. Now for co-vaccine, the COVID-19 disease causing virus that is the SARS-CoV-2 is inactivated by the Indian scientists of Virus Biotech and ICMR to produce this co-vaccine. And how they inactivated the virus? This process can be done by heating the virus or by any radiation or it can be done by chemical treatment. Thus, the virus lost its capability to reproduce so that when it is introducing into our body, they are not capable to reproduce so that they are not able to cause any disease. By inactivating the virus, the genetic materials of the virus that is the RNA are destroyed. But the coat protein or the spike proteins remain unchanged. Now when a virus is inserted into our body, then our immune system will recognize these spike proteins of the virus and will produce the antibody against it. And these antibodies are the specific antibodies against the virus SARS-CoV-2. Now these antibodies which are produced by our body against SARS-CoV-2 will bind to the spike protein of the virus SARS-CoV-2 whether if there is a presence of SARS-CoV-2 virus in our body. So the general idea is that we are introducing the same virus that is the SARS-CoV-2 into our body which is inactivated and it is teaching our body to produce antibodies against the virus 
and whenever there is a presence of the SARS-CoV-2 in our body then this antibodies will bind to the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 which is the active SARS-CoV-2 and this antibodies will destroy the virus this is how the co-vaccine helps us to fight against the COVID-19 disease. So there is no fear in taking this vaccine. If you are thinking that it will affect you if you take the vaccine as you are taking a virus inside your, your body. This thinking is just useless as the virus is not living virus. The virus is inactivated by heating or radiation or any chemical treatment this will just help our immune system to recognize the virus and to produce the antibodies against it and destroy it by binding to the spike proteins of that virus now let's come to the efficacy rate of this covaxin as we are using the same virus to fight against the SARS-CoV-2, the efficacy rate becomes greater than 80%. According to Varad Biotech, Covaxin demonstrated 78% vaccine efficacy against mild, moderate and severe COVID-19 disease and the efficacy against severe COVID-19 disease was 100% with an impact on reduction in hospitalizations. It is also said by Varad Biotech that this co-vaccine is able to fight against the UK strain of coronavirus. Now let's come to the price of this co-vaccine. For a single dose of co-vaccine, the price is rupees 150. But this co-vaccine has been approved for restricted use in emergency situation in individuals 18 years of age and older as the third phase clinical trial of covaxin is going on and this phase 3 clinical trial is ongoing in 25,800 participants with an interim analysis result showing vaccine's efficacy rate is of 81 percent now in an ongoing clinical trial covaxin has been shown to generate immunity following two doses given four weeks apart and this 81 percent efficacy rate is not bad for this SARS-CoV-2 virus and this vaccine is made by Varad Biotech in collaboration with the ICMR so we can trust this vaccine and we should get vaccinated but the problem is that we don't know the efficacy rate of this vaccine against the new variants of COVID-19 as the RNA viruses can change their genetic material very first that's why the new variants or the new strains of SARS-CoV-2 are coming that's why uh, for these new strains the vaccine can be less effective compared to the previous strains now let's come to the side effects of this covaxin like other vaccines this covaxin has some side effects you may have headache you may have fever pain at the site of injection and sometimes there may be vomiting and there may be rashes on body these side effects will last for only two to three days now who should not get covaxin if anyone had a severe allergic reaction to any of the ingredients of this covaxin then he or she should not take this vaccine and who had a severe allergic reaction after previous dose of the vaccine he or she should not take this vaccine then and anyone currently having an acute infection or fever should not take this vaccine and after taking this vaccine you should not take alcohols for at least one to two months if you take alcohol then our immune system will not that much effective so if you don't take alcohol after taking this vaccine the immune response system will be generated more effectively now let's come to the doses of this vaccine this vaccine is a two-dose vaccine which is 
given in the interval of 4 to 6 weeks. But an inactivated vaccine requires a booster dose which boost the immune system of our body to fight against this specific disease recently the trials of this third booster dose of covaxin is started at aims this booster dose of covaxin will be given after six months of taking the second dose of covaxin now the question is should i take this vaccine Obviously, the answer is yes. You have to take the two doses of this co-vaccine and after the second dose of co-vaccine, the efficacy rate will be greater than 80%. So, you have to take the two doses of this co-vaccine. See, in this current pandemic situation, we have to, we have to take this co-vaccine or we have to take COVID-19 vaccines to fight against this COVID-19 disease. And after the booster dose of co-vaccine, there will be pretty good immune system in our body against the SARS-CoV-2 virus or the COVID-19 disease causing virus. Now, if you want to take my opinion, I will always suggest you to take this vaccine. I am also vaccinated with the first dose of this co-vaccine and there was no side effect in my body i had just little bit pain at the site of the injection and nothing else so let's get vaccinated and fight against this pandemic of covid 19 so thank you for watching the video please like the video and share the video and please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet in the next video i will discuss about the covid shield another vaccine of covid 19 disease so we'll meet you in the next video thank you